So Veritas, right off the bat, I gotta say I am sympathetic to anybody who is a public opponent of the ideology of Darwinism. Um, there is a scientific element to Darwinism. Uh, we call it natural selection. Um, the Neo-Darwinians call it, um, you know, the selfish genes, or you know, that would be the metaphor for the more um, positivistic uh, description of how genes mutate for various reasons and are selected uh, by the environment. Um, and you know, the way they understand the environment is based on this Malthusian uh, notion of limited resources and competition between individuals. Um, of course, those individuals for the Neo-Darwinians aren't organisms or species, they are um, genetic uh, codes. That's all that ultimately matters. That's the molecule in control of the game. Um, but of course, the Neo-Darwinians say that uh, we have this, this meme called culture, and it allows us, or I don't know, maybe some of us, the ones of us who, uh, who think right, who um, aren't poisoned by religion and superstition and uh, don't allow their emotions to control them, the ones who have cleansed themselves of uh, instinct and need and nature, the rational ones. Um, yeah, we have, we, they, whoever, I mean, I don't, I don't know, we have to have the Gestapo root out who these people are exactly, but um, these people have uh, the true way of looking at the world. And anyone who opposes them is not only evil, but just deluded. Uh, that ideology frightens me, and it's, it's just, it's called fundamentalism and radical extremism to the point where you're willing to do violence, whether it's epistemological violence or physical violence, it's violence. Um, that is a, a common opponent that we both share, Veritas, but... Uh, when it comes to defending intelligent design, defending it as, uh, as a science, here's the problem. If intelligent design were actually true, uh, science would become impossible. Because think about what we're then allowing uh, into our descriptions of nature. We're allowing an intelligence uh, higher than our own. Um, into the game and saying nature is designed by uh, a supernatural being. This makes all science at that point, once we've realized this or asserted this, it makes all science impossible because any one of our observations and our measurements could very well be a delusion because the real intelligence behind nature is greater than we are. So. Intelligent design is basically saying we can't do science. Uh, all we can know is what the designer says. And maybe this gets more into creationism than intelligent design, but, I mean, come on. They are, um, intelligent design is, uh, you know, the finished product of a PR campaign on creationism, basically. That's all. Uh, and I think, as as a non-secular person yourself um, trying to combat what you see as certain uh, features of the modern world of secular people, um, features of, of this world that you think are, uh, well, they're, they're destructive, they're immoral, they are, they're backward, they're not doing uh, what they are responsible for doing. Um, if, you, if you feel that way and you want to change that, I think you're putting your eggs in the wrong basket, uh, betting on the wrong horse here, because intelligent design is not uh, going to, to go anywhere, not as a science. Um, because like I said, if, if it's true, then we can't do science, because there is a demiurge um, you know, tricking us at every turn. We can never know if any of our knowledge is true. Um, 
and see maybe maybe there's a difference between uh, a religious way of knowing and a scientific way of knowing uh, and for a religion to claim to be a, a science is really it's like the religion completely forgot what it was supposed to be about it forgot the way of knowing which was its own which had nothing to do with science um, and you know like I said at the outset uh, we have a common opponent um, Darwinism which is really just it's scientism it's the attempt to turn uh, technology and rational control into a religion um, and it's very destructive more destructive than than the Crusades ever were uh, because technology and um, this this idea that that there's this perfect rational way to control and plan society we call it economics um, that is destroying the planet and the people who live on it and the animals that live on it and um, I think we need to uh, not, if not go to war against it, then at least uh, attempt to pacify it because it's gonna it's leading us in a bad direction. But um, I, I think um, sometimes, just as, as Darwinism can become religious and fundamentalist, uh, religion can attempt to become uh, fundamentalist as well, and we have to look out for both. We have to find a common ground where religion remains about religion and science remains about science, and neither one uh, tries to totalize the other, you know, sort of just swallow it and make it into itself. We shouldn't try to do that. We should acknowledge both ways of knowing um, and respect each other. Science should not be trying to explain away religion, and religion should not be trying to explain away science. So um, let's not try to, you know, push ID onto the national stage as a science because if we do that, we're gonna get laughed at. I, I think we already are getting laughed at. Um, it's the wrong approach, basically. So um, thanks for listening. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah.